In this video, I'll demonstrate how to calculate the cycle time, theoretical minimum number of workstations, and balance an assembly line with six tasks in order to minimize the amount of idle time. We'll also demonstrate how to calculate the theoretical efficiency of the balance line. This question relates to problem 9.13 in your text. Rita Gibson Appliances wants to establish an assembly line to manufacture its new product, a particular microwave oven. The goal is to produce five ovens per hour. The tasks, the times, and immediate predecessors for producing one microwave oven are in the table below. We have tasks A through F, with task times ranging from 6 minutes to 12 minutes. And if we add all those up, the sum of all the task times equals 48 minutes. We also have all of the immediate predecessors that will enable us to draw a map of what the assembly line would look like. We have three requirements with this problem. The first is to determine the theoretical minimum for the smallest number of workstations that Gibson can achieve in the assembly line. Two, draw the assembly line and assign workers to the stations, which in essence is to balance the line and to determine whether or not we can assign them with the theoretical minimum. Third, we'll calculate the efficiency of our balance line. So let's start with requirement A to determine the theoretical minimum number of workstations. Well, before we do that, we actually need to calculate the cycle time. The cycle time is equal to the time available, which in this case is going to be 60 minutes per hour. And we divide that by the number of units that are required per hour, in this case, five units. This gives us a cycle time of 12 minutes. Then to calculate the theoretical minimum number of workstations, we'll take the sum of the task times divided by the cycle time, the sum of the task times is 48 minutes, and the cycle time we just calculated is 12 minutes, which gives us a nice round four workstations. Now let's see if we can balance the line to achieve that theoretical minimum. The approach we're going to take is to try to minimize the amount of idle time in a particular workstation. If we draw the assembly line, it should look something like this. So tasks B and C are both preceded by A, C is also preceded by B, D is preceded by both B and C, E is preceded by C, F is preceded by both D and E. In order to balance the line, what we want to do is combine workstations to either be less than or equal to the 12 minute cycle time. Now one of the easiest things to do first is to look to see if there are any tasks that are equal to the cycle time, which means that they will have to be assigned to a workstation on their own. As you can see, B here has a task time of 12 minutes, so that must be a workstation of its own. Then we look at what we have left. We can see that activity A is at 10 minutes and can't be combined with activity C, which is the closest in proximity, because C's task time of 8 minutes would cause the workstation to exceed the 12 minute cycle time. So we're going to have to take task A and make a workstation of its own. So we'll label that workstation 1 with a station time of 10 minutes and 2 minutes of idle time. Workstation 2 contains task B with a station time of 12 minutes and 0 idle time. If we look at activity C, has a time of 8 minutes, and unfortunately there is no other task in close proximity with a task time of 4 minutes or less to make 12, so activity C has to be a workstation on its own as well. So we'll call this workstation 3, with a station time of 8 minutes and 4 minutes idle time. Now since the three remaining tasks, D, E, and F, all have the same task time of 6 minutes and are in close proximity, any two of those could be combined together to make a 12 minute station time. I've chosen to combine tasks E and F into a workstation for 12 minutes, and therefore, and therefore take task D, which is the only one left, to make a workstation of its own with a six minute station time, and therefore six minute idle time. We'll call that workstation number four. E and F will be combined into workstation number five with a 12 minute station time, and therefore no idle time. And so there's our balance line. Were we able to achieve the minimum number of workstations? Unfortunately, no. Our balance line contains five workstations, whereas the theoretical minimum number is four. If we want to calculate our theoretical efficiency, the formula for that is the sum of the task times divided by the actual number of workstations times the cycle time. Here we have the sum of the task times to be 48 minutes. We've balanced our line into five workstations and the cycle time is 12 minutes. So that's 48 divided by 60 or 80% efficiency. The flip side of efficiency, of course, is idle time or balance delay, and that's equal to 100% minus the efficiency, which gives us 20% balance delay. 
Another way to calculate the idle time or balance delay without first calculating the efficiency is simply to add up all of the idle time from the workstations and then divide by the actual number of stations times the cycle time. So workstation one has two minutes of idle time, workstation three has four minutes of idle time, and workstation four has six minutes of idle time. That adds up to a total of 12 minutes. And if we take 12 minutes divided by 60, there's our 20% idle time or balance delay. And that's how we calculate cycle time, theoretical minimum number of workstations, balance an assembly line, and calculate the theoretical efficiency.